Google is about to take a ton of work off our hands as advertisers and give it to a new AI feature they're in the process of rolling out right now. This is going to be one of the biggest changes that we've seen to Google Ads in years. And in this video, I'm going to tell you about it. So to help explain what this new AI feature is and how it works, I've got Google's support doc up about it. And we'll take a look at this before we jump into a, a Google Ad account. And I'm referring to a thing that Google's calling automatically created assets. It's relatively new. Not all Google Ad accounts have it yet. Some do, some don't. It's in the process of being rolled out. And I'm going to start by explaining what their sort of definition of this is, okay? Automatically created assets are an opt-in campaign level setting. Enabling the setting will help you generate additional assets, headlines and descriptions to be used in combination with the assets that you input for your responsive search ads. These new assets are generated based on your ad's unique context, which includes your landing page, existing ads, and keywords in your ad group. So just to be very clear, what this is referring to is headlines and descriptions in your responsive search ads. It can get quite confusing because Google has renamed what used to be called ad extensions as ad assets. So things like site link extensions are now referred to as assets, but that's not what this is talking about. This is not talking about any extension to an ad. This is the copy of the ad itself in search, your headlines and your descriptions. And basically what Google is saying there is that they will take what we have created as advertisers, so the headlines that we've written, the descriptions that we've written in our ads that we've inputted into Google, they will also take a look at our landing page and our website, and they will automatically generate other versions of headlines and descriptions to be used in our ads to be tested. That's really interesting. There are a number of benefits, and Google actually goes on to um, highlight some. I'm not going to quickly talk you through them. So the three main ones that they're bringing up are firstly performance. So they're saying that our responsive search ads, basically our search ads, will produce better results because Google is testing more variations of headlines and descriptions. And we know more variations of headlines and descriptions help improve performance. There's more detail on that I'll get to in a minute. Google are also saying that this will provide more relevance. Now, I've long been a fan of breaking down your ad groups into really quite small groupings so that you can have that uh, that relevance, that continuity between the search query, the ad, the landing page, and, and it's all very specific to the language around which the searcher is using. And you can see how if Google is automatically generating headlines and descriptions, it can more closely match what the person is searching for. Now, there's been variations of this for a while, but this really is a, a new thing in taking it to another level. And they also talk about productivity, okay? So if Google's gonna do a lot of the work for you and they're going to create these headlines description variations for you, that's great. That gives that means you have to spend less time in your ad account creating all this stuff. It gives you more time to focus potentially on other things and it's always going to be to be useful. So Google go on to explain some of the ways around how this is created and what they're basically saying, if I was to summarize, is that not only does Google know based on your data and stuff they might see on your website and in your ads what's likely to produce the best results, but Google also has a really good idea of what produces great results in general and in your industry because who has more data than Google? So they're very much talking about it drawing the, the automatically created headlines and descriptions, drawing on a ton of information, not just within your ad account, but also on the Google platform in general. So if we scroll down and we take a look at how this is likely to work within a Google ad account, and I'm gonna show you exactly how to, to actually set it up. So they give some examples here. So let's assume that we were advertising, you know, as something called smartphone seven is what they've got here. So let's say the advertiser has written in these as head and description assets. Smart, new, new smartphone seven, our most innovative smartphone yet, safe and secure, et cetera, et cetera. Well, what Google is going to do is produce ads like this, like a responsive search ad. And I'm sure you're familiar with this sort of thing. It's what we've been using for a long time now. Now, what Google will do is they'll take this stuff here that has been inputted by us advertisers and they will create extra assets like this here. So Google has created impressive from every angle, trading offers available, several colors to choose from, reimagine camera to capture life's moments and then they will put that into an ad and you've got the the example down there now what's really interesting with this example is you can see that they are they are identifying language that often gets people to click gets them to convert impressive from every angle things that are potentially important to that customer base those searchers in that industry trading offers available they're identifying these things that are going to resonate with the target audience and it's going to help you get clicks and hopefully help you get conversions so you can start to see how this is likely to work and how exciting it is for, for us Google advertisers. Now, when I was reading out the description earlier, you may have seen that this is an opt-in setting as opposed to a lot of things that Google adds that are sort of turned on by default. This is an opt-in setting and it's still in its testing phase. So to show you how to turn this on, I'm in an example Google ad account. What you want to do is go into a specific campaign. That's what I've done here. And then go ahead and click on settings down there on the left-hand side. Now, when you turn this on, at the campaign level. So you could choose, for example, if you had multiple campaigns running to just test it on one campaign to turn it on for a whole bunch, but just be aware that, that that's how it works. 
Once you come into campaign settings and you scroll down, you'll see that underneath bidding, we've got automatically created assets. Now, not every ad account will have this. We have this in some of our clients ad accounts, not in all, okay? And it's also only available in English at the moment. So you can see this automatically created asset section. Google provides a bit of a description and you can see it says off, use only assets that I provide directly for ads, but we can go ahead and select on and it explains what we've just been through, how it's going to create headlines, descriptions and things like that for us. So you can simply go ahead and click this on. Now I should tell you that Google will bring up this pop up, which sounds quite scary and intimidating. And it's got a bunch of like disclaimers in there. Um, and Google's recommending that you make sure that you check the assets that Google creates using um, this tool. It's just sort of Google covering its own back. I don't think you need to be too scared by this sort of stuff, but you can decide and you can either decide, you know, turn on or actually no, I want to cancel. But I would recommend that you do turn this on. There are things you need to watch out for. We'll get to that in a minute. Before I do, I just want to quickly mention our done for you Google ad services. So my company can create, manage and optimize your Google ad campaigns for you. If you are interested in that, there is a link in the video description. You can click on that, go through to the page on our website and book in a free no obligation call with one of my team members that'll explain our service, what we charge, all that sort of stuff. Hopefully you go ahead and book in a call and maybe we get a chance to work together. So I would recommend turning on this new feature. I think it's important for us advertisers to embrace the new AI tools that are being introduced, uh, particularly the ones that are part of the Google Ads platform. And you can see this sort of stuff is being rolled out across the digital advertising industry at the moment. But before you do turn this on, there's something very important that I want to highlight, and that's that you really need to take a look at your landing pages and your website as a whole and make sure it is correct. You don't want there to be a lack of congruity between what you're trying to advertise and stuff that's on there. Remember, if Google's going to be pulling information from that and using the, that information to create headlines, descriptions, if that's wrong or not really representative of what you're trying to do, that you could really run into issues. So really take a bit of time before you turn this on and, and go through your landing pages in particular, but also take a look at the rest of your site. Just make sure everything is as it should be. Uh, it sounds quite simple, but but it's quite important. Then when you do decide to turn it on, I'd probably start with just one campaign. You may only be running one campaign, but assuming you're running multiple campaigns as probably most Google advertisers are, then you might want to just practice with this with one campaign, see how it performs, see how you like it. Is it coming up with options that are actually good for your ads and make sense or is it not in which case you might want to, uh, to turn it off remember this like all features are going to perform better for some advertisers than others depending on what they advertise how much data google has on their industry and all that sort of stuff okay so probably just test it with one campaign for a while and just be aware that it is a test you also want to make sure that you do regularly review the assets that google is creating for you just to make sure that they all make sense and, and you can take a look at them and go, yeah, that works. Mm, maybe not sure about that. That doesn't actually make sense. It's, I can see why Google's picked that up, but not quite the sort of thing that we're looking for. So make sure you review those things. You can always go in and adjust and remove stuff as necessary, just like you would with a regular responsive search ad where you can take out headlines and descriptions and things like that. So far, Google have told us that the early adopters of this feature, this automatically created assets feature, have seen on average a 2% increase in conversions which is not massive but you have to remember that firstly this tool is in beta mode it's not ready yet it's not fully established that's likely to improve and secondly who doesn't want a two percent improvement in conversions just for simply clicking a couple of buttons that sounds like a good deal to me so i would expect that to improve and i definitely think it's worth giving a go just making sure that you watch out for some of the things that i've already mentioned as you can see from this new ai tool keeping up to date with the latest google ads features is essential if you want the best possible results that's why i'd strongly recommend you check out this video where i share the very latest secrets tips and strategies that we're using in our google ad campaigns and they're working really well for us right now